Hey there folks, thank you for visiting this tutorial. I was asked by Dr. Ja, a professor at North Carolina A&T State University, to do a demonstration slash tutorial on how to retrieve useful data from USGS website. This data is usually used for research by engineers in various fields for different type of applications, different types of applications. Or you might be asked to use this website for, uh, for research or homework or project purposes. So let's get right to it. First, we will begin by going to www.usgs.gov, which I already have it pulled up, so let's hit enter. Uh, if you are doing this for homework or project purposes, then you might be provided the link, might be provided the link that will get you to the exact destination you need to go to. Um, if you don't have the link and if you need to find a particular type of thing, then you can look on the right, like let's say if you're asked to find the precipitation data for a certain region. You can go down the left side and find that relates to water right here. Water. Click there and then we go to data. And then we go to National Water Information Systems, NWIS. And once we have reached there, um, let's say you might be asked to find groundwater, water quality, water use, surface water, site formation, current conditions. Blah, blah, blah. So for Dr. Jha's case, I think we're looking for surface water. And from here, we need to go to daily data. State. Uh, data could be found for any part of the country. So you know, feel free to choose whatever state you like or you're asked to do for your project. Uh, everything else can stay the same. Hit submit, and for this per for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use the state I live in, the state I call home, North Carolina. And as you scroll down, don't worry about this stuff; it's not important. As you scroll down, you can find other parameters to choose that will really narrow down your search. Um, for Dr. Jha's case, we are asked to find discharge and uh, precipitation. So you can see the water level flow parameters. We can find discharge, and there's several different types. So let's see, they got feet, cub cubic feet per day and meter cube per second. I think cubic feet per day is more accurate for Dr. Jha's uh, um, project. And then precipitation, we're looking. Precipitation, we're looking for inches. Uh, per day so we can do total or this and um, let's see I think all this can be as is you can find the data for however long back you want to we're just gonna leave it as it is and then hit submit and it will give you a list of sites within that state now, it will, this will require some trial and error, so let's see. Like if I were to go to, uh, sorry, the number is the one where you can click number, site number. So some of them will not have both of them. Uh, no thanks. So we were asked to find discharge and pre precipitation, but some of the sites will not have all the data possible. Like some might only have discharge, and some might only have precipitation, and some might have it all. So. You might have to go through a few of them to find that has like all the data you required. See, this one has gauge height, discharge, and precipitation. So I think the very first one has all the stuff we are required. So let's go here, and it says there is discharge, mean, max, and um, minimum, maximum, and average, uh, and then precipitation, the sum of it all. And then you can see on the right there's a period of record. Now this is important because if you are asked for more than a year worth of data or like last 13 years or 14 years of data, then you can just use this to figure out what range you're looking for. And the more data you use, the more accurate your results gonna be for your research or whatever that is you're doing for your model or whatever it happens to be. So you can do graph, graph with stats, graph with uh, measures or means. I'm not too sure what that is. I never used it. And for our purposes, for Dr. Jha's purposes, it will be table or tab separator. Um, you can use tab separator. I'll show both on how to use it. So let's see, we want to use it for last year worth of data. So it shows from you know today's date. Well, today's date. You might be viewing this later, but today's date to um, this date last year. 
so let's see that's good enough for me and we're gonna hit go and you can see that you have this all this data for a year worth of data daily data right here now all this could be very very um, overwhelming so see there is no um, headers I guess um, what do you call it? column headers if you will so you have to separate it out for the tab separate you have to figure out what it is so it's 0060 0003 is the discharge cubic feet per second that's just the average part of it so we need to go down to 0060003 and wherever that is is the one that will give you that kind of information in that column so I think the first column is um, let's see the mean so I think this is the mean this column right here is the mean per day for the discharge then you need to go to the precipitation total inches that's the last column and it's this one where these are given in the inches per day and you can select this whole thing again like I said it could be quite confusing to find out which column belongs to which so you can go scroll all the way down and copy and you can export it or paste it into Excel or export it into a, a text file and that text, f uh, not text file, sorry, notepad as I'll show here and then paste it and then you can go into Excel and export the text file. Let's see, open let's see, first I need to save it so let's see, save to the desktop DV save desktop save did it save? maybe it didn't save sorry folks running into trouble here alright there you go we had an uh, extra star on there or asterisk alright so we saved it now we go to excel and open let's see computer desktop and then blah, 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 let's see all files we're gonna go to DV text all right and this says delimit is going to come up and you can just hit next and next and finish and you will get all this data so you see you have ex escorted I mean exported out exported it out properly now only thing is that you have to create some uh, insert some rows to add the he column headers so it's a little bit um, I guess overwhelming if you have not have done it before, if you're not too used to Excel and uh, Notepad. So let's exit out of that. No, we don't want to save it. Uh, cancel. So let's look at the, the easier method, in my opinion, which is the table. And same thing. We go, hit go. And you can see it's much more cleaner and nicer. So we can just select the whole car, um, whole, all of the tables, whole grid, whatever you want to call it and go to the end of it copy and then pull up my excel if i oh i closed it all right excel blank and then wherever you like i would say leave some space if you want to add some other stuff onto it so insert not insert sorry paste and there you go voila and it's nice and it's clean and it's easy to work with you know you can you can all just adjust this from here on I'm sure you can figure it out I mean you guys are in college so there you go folks that's how you do it so and just save the file and work with it however you like alright so that's it I mean you can uh, as I mentioned before you can work around with this you can look at other sites you can put other other states other parameters you know water quality parameters um, precipitation and pressure and any kind of other stuff that is available there's a uh, plenty to choose from and <coughs> excuse me and that is pretty much how you do it I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, See you later. Thank you.